You join me here at Wolverhampton, the gatehouse. We are here for RoboNode 2021 or the closing part of it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show. Let's see all the news. Robo Nerd 2021 took place at the Gate House in Wolverhampton on Saturday the 4th of September. Many, many robots, old and new, came along for the display. Once again, it was so good to see so many robots on display and some that we didn't get to see in 2019, including Panic Attack, Something, Deator, just to name a few. The Big Cheese was also there, brought by Team Thunderchild alongside many other fan favourites. Nelly the Elliot Apollo was there, we had Abrasion, we had Turbulence, plenty of heavyweights on display. It was great to see them all and great to talk to some of the builders that brought them, who were all too happy to converse and answer any questions that the fans and other builders had about the machines. For the first time in a long time, we also had the Roger Plant collection there in full, the Big Cheese, Wheelie Big Cheese and the Mule. And we also got to see the challenge belt brought by Team Tornado. Once again, the house robots were on display and put on a couple of display shows as well. Dead Metal cutting up a wheel hub and Shunt destroying a microwave were two of the highlights of the day. There were also displays of two heavyweight robots from back in the day. Onslaught had a bit of a drive around in the test area as did Panic Attack who put on a couple of shows over the course of the day. Panic Attack really did impress the whole audience. It was really good to see it in full working order. Lifting Spikes, Drive and Shremek, all in perfect alignment for the perfect display. We also had the Lego one in the arena at the same time, which did not end well for David Harrison's build. Cy Harrison at the helm of Panic Attack at that point and the controllers were handed over to Orange Dose Overjuice, YouTuber in the robot combat scene, to give the Series 2 champion a spin himself. The featherweight action was on, with the Bristol Pop Builders bringing their Bev's Arena. This featherweight competition was excellent. Three-way melees to start us off, then into redemption rounds, and one-on-one, -on -one, round of 16, round of 8, round of 4, and final. Lots of robots competed and lots of very fun ones at that. The whole spirit of Bev's is for a lot of fun to be had by everyone. We had a BB-8 that lost its head. We had My Robot Tadpole, the flail bot that managed to get several pittings in the day and has performed very nicely getting through to the round of eight. Very happy with that. The big name in the featherweight competition was Will Thomas, who brought along two of his featherweights, Airwave and the original Aftershock, which was a pneumatic flipper here, defeating Dullahan dressed up as a cow. But the winner of the Fevs event was Shane Lale's drive by a whiplash style machine, looking very good indeed. In the Beetle weights, we had an open arena but the main event was the Content Creator Rumble, which this year was won by none other than My Robot Do Ya. And I'm so happy with the performance of this machine. It was an excellent fight that goes on for seven minutes and there is a full video on the channel if you want to go and see the full action. Well done to me. Thanks very much, me. Once again, the Amway Arena was open for any and all robots to come and fight in under close supervision for the spinners of course, but open nonetheless. Lots of fun action was had in this box, unfortunately I didn't get any this year, but thank you to all those who have provided some footage for this for the news. You are stars. And finally, LEGO Wars went live this year with lots of the LEGO Wars machines taking part, as well as some outsiders coming in to take on the machines. It was great to see so many fun and interesting builds taking part throughout the day. Thank you all for coming. I want to say a massive thank you to the RoboNerd team for putting on yet again another amazing show. It's always one of my favourites to go to. And that is just about it for the news this week. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like. Do subscribe to the channel if you are new. Be sure to check out World of Woodrow over on Facebook to keep up to date with all the latest news. And we shall see you again next time. Bye-bye.